not really part of the story of Polish account governance, but necessary in this specific video series is to talk about accounts. It is necessary because in Safeguard we have different account types. And unfortunately with the identity manager we get some more. And because of that this slide exists and here is a short explanation. First of all in the identity manager we typically talk about identities. Identities represent people and better known are these objects as person objects in the identity manager or you can see them in a front end and then they are called employees. These are not accounts of course. These are representing humans, these are metadata, these are identity. Identities typically have assigned accounts. Accounts is something that you need to log in to whatever else target system. For example, an account in Active Directory allows you to log in to Active Directory or in Azure or whatever. Accounts for LDAP systems will do the same in LDAP and for SAP in SAP. One of these accounts or more of them could be accounts in Safeguard. Unfortunately, Safeguard accounts are not named accounts in Safeguard, they are named Safeguard user. That means a Safeguard account, it's a Safeguard user. This Safeguard user it's needed to log in into Safeguard and you get your privileges so that you can do something in Safeguard. Once you are logged in in Safeguard using your Safeguard user, you can manage privileged passwords for privileged accounts. And of course there are two types of them. One are standard asset accounts which are more local accounts and it is as well possible to manage directory accounts. Unfortunately, and this is how the life is, such directory accounts for example can as well become a safeguard user, especially because if you are an active directory signed in and you want to use the same account to sign in Safeguard, this is possible. And on the one hand side, you are signed in into Safeguard with one active directory account and can manage some other privileged accounts as well living in the same active directory. And because of that, this slide is necessary so that you now know identities have accounts, special accounts are Safeguard users and they manage asset accounts and directory accounts which are then more privileged accounts. In this specific scenario I want to use the identity manager to provision a safeguard user and to do so I need a person uh, that will place the order and this specific person here is uh, Randy Dottin. Randy Dottin is as you can see a person only having an Active Directory account, here we are. And additionally to this Active Directory account, this person wants now to get access and safeguard as an administrator and therefore he wants to order an administrator account and safeguard, which is a safeguard user. Therefore we need our standard web front, that is the web front the business typically use and we have to place in as Remdy. Here we are. And I like to place my request. I want to request two things. The first uh, thing is the account itself and the second thing is access to one of these safeguard groups. I can do that just with one request. Therefore I go into access lifecycle first. Access lifecycle it's necessary because I want to have access to safeguard. As you can see there are two choices. I can have an Active Directory account in safeguard as a user account or I can have a local safeguard account. I just order the local safeguard account and add this to my card. That's my first thing. And secondly, I like uh, to add to my card uh, another request. So I start another request here, Active Directory Groups. No, I want to have PEM groups and users. As you can see, there is a group that is named Empty Group. It's a PEM group. I want to have access to this specific group. So I check that specific group, add it to the card as well. Now there are two entries in my shopping cart. One, it's a new safeguard user. The second one, it's access to one of these safeguard groups. I have to place as well a reason why I want to have access. Need SG admin access for business as SG admin. Here we are. I can use the same reason for both if I'm interested. So here we are. 
and I press save and submit here the order. Now it's submitted. As pretty typical for the identity manager, as person who ordered something, I can look into my request history. Here we are. This is what I requested. That's true. For one of these, I can look into the workflow and the workflow let me see that the next approvers are here. Abello and Filippi, these two guys are the approvers for the safeguard system. Just for all people are interested uh, for any target system, always target system owners are responsible out of the box. So I step into my manager again. I have a look at the role level of the identity manager. I'm looking in one identity manager application roles there in target system administration. Here the role privileged account management system, which is my safeguard. Here are the two decision makers and you can configure some more. These are the owner for just safeguard at present. So I step back into my web portal. Now I have to switch my hat. That means I just stop being Randy. I have now uh, to begin with Audrey or being Audrey. Audrey is one of the decision makers. You can see that Abello Audrey. So I just log off here and log in as Audrey. And here we are. As we easily can see, there are two pending requests right now. I jump into this. I can see the pending requests. Both are from Brandy. Yes, of course. Safeguard user, empty group access. I just check both and say, yes, of course, this person is allowed to do so. And save. And uh, like Randy, as well as person who is allowed to approve something, I can have in my actions a look into the approval history, which is like the request history, but this time for approvers. And I can look into it. There are my both uh, specific permissions. That means the access to an account, the access to a group, as I can see, both are assigned. I can as well select one of these, look into the workflow. You can see fully granted. This is now here the, uh, the hint that everything should be provisioned. Let me have a look into my specific admin data front end manager. Here I have to look into the employees and uh, I have to search for Randy. And there it is. Here it is. As you can see, there is now a safeguard account perfectly. If I step onto the safeguard account, I can do something as a data administrator, for example. I can decide to step into that safeguard account. To set a password, I already know because we have no mail sending here. So it's better just to set a password to something I already know. Normally it's auto generated and then uh, on an email basis, a uh, one time access token is sent to the user. But this time here, I set the password now manually. I can as well manipulate the permissions if I like to. For example, I can decide that this person needs a lot of more access and safeguard, gets a full admin, for example. I can then save the whole thing. Wonderful. Here we are. Password is set now as well. And yeah, having the password, having the permissions, I can just log in into Safeguard. First try as Randy. Wonderful. It was completely possible. I'm signed in as Randy now. Here you can see it. Perfect. And if I look, for example, here into the configuration user and look for that Randy guy as well. Then there is my safeguard user and this safeguard user should now be a member of the empty group. Here we are. The whole thing was quick and dirty. You see it is possible in the identity manager to request a user. It is as well possible to request a group membership. Everything gets automatically provisioned. I can use as well the admin front end of the identity manager to change data if I like to. That was more permissions and the password. And then I'm good.